Hi guys. Uh, so this segment is going to be pretty controversial for some of you, um, especially depending upon your political views and your background. And we're really going to answer the question of what's wrong with killing a high value target who's a female? What's wrong with killing a female HVT? Uh, and the short answer is absolutely nothing. And if anybody tells you otherwise, I would have a few arguing points um, for that discussion. And, and this is such a hot topic as women are in the infantry now, everything has completely changed. But as Americans, we truly value the lives of women. That is something that has always set us apart from third world countries, the Arab world, the communist world. Uh, and when we think about that process and what it means to deploy to violent nations around the world that do not value women as we do, this creates a pretty big moral or ethical obstacle. Um, I had a E-8 gunship commander come see me and um, unfortunately one of the high value targets on their list was a female. And for years this guy had completely beat himself up because he had shot a woman. Um, this is one of those that was so classified I didn't even know where it was. I just knew that we were in Afghanistan somewhere in the mountains and that um, he's following her with a scope and in the middle of the night he has to take her out and he can see her fall into the water. They're running over the creek and, and um, she was just in the long line of people in the food chain. She was moving information up. She was creating threats for America, for the safety of Afghanistan, um, aiding ISIS, um, Al Qaeda, Taliban, who, whoever you want to call it, the bad guy. Um, and so ultimately she had to go. But the issue is, is that we have to reconcile shooting a woman, something that is completely against our American values, our Christian values, um, basic general respect for human life as a whole. And so we're left with this feeling that we are a bad person, that we should feel guilty, uh, that we deserve to be punished, that we're worthless or pieces of shit because we shot a woman. And I have to say, in the true spirit of equality, um, if every woman out there who preaches or protests for equality for women, they shouldn't have a problem with this idea. This should not be an issue for them whatsoever. Uh, because if we're truly equal, quote unquote, in value, then a target is a target. And it doesn't really matter if it's a man or a woman. The problem is, is that we come home and we have to live with that. And that's not always as easy as we think it is. Uh, we live in a great country where we get to drive cars. We get to go be educated. We can walk around with our faces uncovered and not every country is like that. And the general American public does not understand what the difference is. In foreign countries like the Arab world, they use women and children as weapons. And that is exactly what happens. So even inadvertently, if the high value target is not actually executing violence against our people, she is still involved in or helping the bad guy hurt Americans or um, fighting against Afghani independence, so to speak. So I want you to think about a few major points is, why should I feel guilty if this HVT is just like a man? If men and women are equal across the board, why should I feel guilty? Um, the other side doesn't feel guilty when they use women. Does that justify our not feeling guilty? Not necessarily, um, but I think it at least helps put it in perspective that they use women as weapons. And when they choose to do so, we have to respond with some type of equal or greater force. What choices are we left with? Um, that's kind of the next question is, what are my other alternatives? <laughs> if there were a, an entire army of female HVTs, what would we do as Americans? How would we ever move forward? How would we uh, be tactical, logistical, strategical in any way, shape, or form if we yielded to the fact that they were women? We would get nowhere. Um, in the context of war, an enemy is an enemy regardless of sex. So it does not matter if the high value target is a woman. That should be very important. You should continually be remembering that all the time. Challenging this thought is really tough. Um, it takes time. It, it takes good work. But many of you are punishing yourselves for, for things that happened years ago that involve violence toward women, something where you didn't have a choice. We also have to remember that this is part of an operational order, that this is not an independent decision that we alone, we, this single infantry soldier or single Marine, um, we are not making this decision alone. 
somebody somewhere else decided that this woman was a high value target. And so in discussion with this veteran, we went through the process of how did we even end up to where she was the one who we needed to get rid of. And basically it comes down to um, command at a much higher level. Um, it, is, it is not your individual decision to make that choice of who is an HVT and who is not. This takes hundreds, if not more than a thousand people from your Intel folks to your command level, um, your XO, your CO, your battalion, whatever that may be for you. This is a multi-level decision-making process. This is not you individually saying, girlfriend has to go. Okay, please remember that. That is incredibly important in this scenario. Um, it takes many people to make this decision. You are not the final decision maker. Yes, you may ultimately be the trigger puller, and a lot of times that's where the heavy shame and guilt comes in, but this decision was not yours to make. You are simply executing orders that were given by people in higher places. Bottom line, bottom line. So please remember, that again, America is the greatest country on earth and, and we are that way because of who we value and what we value. Um, women are equal in value, but that does not mean that they are the same as men. And I think that we have kind of lost that path a little bit, which we'll talk about in a different video. But overall, if a female HVT has to go, she has to go. And you will be left to reconcile why that is. So I hope that was helpful. Um, for that veteran, he came in and, and he did get uh, resolution through great trauma work. Um, it doesn't eat him up anymore. He doesn't have nightmares about it anymore, um, which, which is a great thing. You know, we were able to process that trauma. So please don't live with that if that's something that is eating you up um, or it's something that is destroying you from the inside. You can definitely address that. But the most important thing to remember is that you are not the ultimate decision maker that a target is a target and in war if a female is a threat to the good guy then she ultimately has to go so please keep those things in mind in thinking about your scenario take care